Welcome into the recap of the White Sox nail-biting 2-1 win over the Guardians in Cleveland tonight. I'm David Kaplan. Lucas Giolito was outstanding. We'll talk about his performance. Tony La Russa with, I thought, his best media session in a long, long time. We'll uh, digest what he had to say. Uh, let's take you through this ball game. And don't forget to send your emails to recap, R-E-K-A-P, at thecapman.com. Just say, I want to be entered into the contest when we hit 5,000 subscribers. We're just about at 3,000 now. I will randomly pull one name and you will win a 70-inch TV from Apt Electronics or one of two $100 gift cards from our other legacy partner at Lou Malnati's Great Pizza. All right, here's what happened in tonight's game. Lucas Giolito's been throwing the ball much better, and tonight was no exception. He gave you five and a third innings. He gave up five hits, one run, it was unearned, and he punched out five. He was in command tonight, and if not for the unearned run, White Sox would have back-to-back -back shutouts with the 7 nothing win with Dylan Cease pitching very well last night. Sox had a 2 nothing lead in this ball game. They did lose Aloy Jimenez. He came out of the game. You could see him grimacing after a sliding catch, and then I saw him again running, and it looked like Maybe that hamstring is still bothering him, so we'll wait for an update from Tony LaRusso or Rick Hahn tomorrow. So that's not good, uh, but they did the job. They did well enough offensively, and then their bullpen was tremendous tonight. First of all, I looked at all the analytics before this game. The pitching matchup favored the White Sox overwhelmingly. Lucas Giolito pitches very well in Cleveland. In addition, Aaron Savale, the Guardian starter, struggles with a lot of the White Sox top hitters. Savale, though, only lasted one inning, said his wrist was bothering him. He was out of the ball game. That changed everything, and the Guardians, give him credit, got really good pitching from a collection of relievers. They used their closer, their all-star closer, Emmanuel Classe, uh, in the ninth to keep it a one-run game, but after... Giolito, you had Reynaldo Lopez give you two-thirds of an inning. Kendall Graveman give you a three-up, three-down inning. And then Liam Hendricks slammed the door, three-up, three-down, both Graveman and Hendricks with two strikeouts apiece in their inning of work. And the White Sox win. So they take two straight, they split the series, and now they get on the jet, they head to Minneapolis, and they start with the Twins tomorrow, a massive four-game series in Minneapolis. Sox did not play well against Minnesota last week. We'll see how they do this weekend. Boy, if you could find a way to take three or four, uh, all of a sudden you could wake up and go, huh, we're only three games out at the All-Star break. That's right. Three or four would get you a little bit closer. And you're only a half game now behind the Cleveland Guardians for second place. So massive four games in Minnesota, a ton of baseball left. Also, Tony La Russa spoke today. Uh, he's been under attack from all sides whether that was Ozzy Guillen on the postgame show, Spitting Facts, or Scotty Podsednik. Uh, he and Chuck Garfine and Ozzy Guillen, it's a must-watch show, or Big Frank, whoever's on there. It's awesome, awesome stuff before and after every White Sox game on NBC Sports Chicago. Tony responded today and said he wants to win as much now as at any point in his career, and he believes a run is coming, and he believes... Yeah, we've had some injuries, but I believe this team is grinding, working hard, and it is a connected group, and he believes they are right there hanging in there because of injury. It has obviously been an issue, but again, I thought the, the real interesting comment was, I want to win now as much as I ever have in my career. So obviously the fire still burns in Tony La Russa. We'll see how it all goes this weekend in Minnesota. It's not going to make or break the season. But it certainly would be nice if you could find a way to win that series. Have a great rest of your night. White Sox win 2-1. Take that.